Hello, do you know it? In today's video, we're going to be trying out the new Nykaa Conceal and Correct Palettes. I have all the four palettes with me right here. I'm going to be applying these on my face. I'm going to show you how exactly they work on my skin. I'm going to do a wear test, seeing how long it actually lasts, what exactly it looks like, and yeah. So let us start. Nykaa Skin Genius Conceal and Correct Palette comes in three shades. Uh, the number one is Light 01. The second is medium 02 and then they have the deep 03. So one palette has about six shades. Since there's only three palettes, light, medium and dark, light, medium and deep, I feel like this is a great idea because if somebody cannot find the exact shade, they can always mix and match. But if you're the sort of person that doesn't just want a little bit of color correction, and if you want to go full ham, if you have a lot of pimples, red spots, as well as anti circles, um, also other discolorations that you want to take care of, then they have this palette. This one has all the shades that you could possibly think of when you are thinking of correcting. I don't really find the need to use this one because I don't really have a crazy amounts of red spots. So I'm going to use the light one and I'm going to show you how exactly that one works out. So now I'm going to take the green color right here. I'm going to try to dab. Ooh, it's like super creamy and very, very pigmented. So I'm just going to very gently. The thing with conceal as well as you know all, all these palettes is that you want to make sure that you don't swipe it, you just have to dab on it. I'm going to let that sit. Now I'm going to go to the conceal and correct palette in light and I'm going to use this really nice uh, salmon color and I'm going to try to apply uh, wherever I feel there is darkness. also be my uh, skin shade. It's a bit orangey but it's fine. This is going on very smoothly just with my fingertips and I feel like that's quite a good thing. If you have a deeper complexion than mine or if you have deeper under eye circles then you can definitely go for a, for a deeper shade of salmon and you can go for an orangey reddish color that is available in the other palette but I don't have that dark of an issue <laughs> so I'm pretty okay with just this much. Plug is here as well. that's half of my face done let me just try to do that on this side and I'm gonna try to not speak <laughs> this side I'm gonna try to apply this with a beauty blender should I do it with a beauty blender or a brush I think most of you have a beauty blender so let's just try to do it with a smooth it out with a beauty blender I do really like the shade range that they have I feel like it's quite nice better job with my fingers because this side see how it's coming off already can you guys see mm, I think this is best applied with your finger let me just go in so I feel like I'm gonna apply this with my finger obviously uh, with your finger you do get more pigmentation but you also get a very heavy handed application so if you're the sort of person that likes minimal application then I would suggest a beauty blender but I feel like the beauty blender just nullifies any correcting that this corrector just did. It's super easy to use. It's extremely easy to use just by your fingers. So I'm going to just go over the beauty blender portion with my fingers because 
the lightest shade in the light is actually my skin shade but I'm gonna try to mix both the light and a little bit darker than the light one uh, so let's go I'm thinking about applying the concealer with my brush rather than the beauty blender because I've already seen what it does with the beauty blender so let's try to use this brush let's see how that works out It's already started to crease a little bit, so you might want to yeah, put a powder underneath. But it, it creased very little on the beauty blender side, so I guess it's whatever you do use it with a heavy hand, it will crease, but I love the coverage that this is giving me. Now I'm going to try to dip this brush straight up in the colour and then see how it works out. Because maybe the reason why it's not working that well or blending that well is because maybe it's not blending that well because I'm first dabbing it on but I really want to see what it does on this. red spots you are supposed to use green oh now 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 we're getting somewhere I was in the middle of doing this and my f camera battery ran out so I look like a dancer anyways my camera battery ran out so it's charging right now but I still want you guys to see what exactly is happening um, I haven't really set this with a powder it looks very nice it has serious high coverage but if you do apply around your eyes as you can see it is creasing so you definitely have to set this with a powder and that is what I'm gonna do right now it does settle onto your skin and your um, pores and all do get highlighted way more than they, they do when you have just a foundation on but that is I feel like all cream concealers so let me just try to take this translucent powder let me just show it to you I'm just gonna take some translucent powder and I'm just gonna set my eye with this and I think I'm gonna do this all over my face because this is a cream concealer and I don't think it's fair if you are reviewing it without putting powder on top because that's how normal concealers, cream concealers work anyways. I have a battery in place. Um, I'm definitely gonna buy a new camera now. My camera has been like dying on me all the time. Just a little FYI, the concealer is very soft. So when you do use it with a brush, try not to do what I did and jab the brush in it. I feel like e even if you stroke it very gently with the brush, it's just so soft that it destroys the concealer completely. But I really like the formula. It does not feel greasy and it just, it, it feels very light. It actually feels lighter than a couple of foundations. So I'm very excited about that. Also, this particular red portion is completely minimized. Um, you can't really see any red peeking through and I feel like it did a pretty good job. I feel like this looks really good. Um, it does not feel heavy at all. It feels extremely light. I don't really feel oily because I have powdered my face very well. But the one thing that I've noticed is that it has already started to crease a lot around the eyes. Like that. So I think maybe applying this um, with your fingers might lead to this because uh, when you apply this with your beauty blender, it definitely leaves very less product. Uh, so yeah, so that's the only place I feel like is creasing around the eye also. It's very less, but I really like it. I like the way it looks. Um, I started shooting the video at about 12 and even after four hours of applying it throughout my face, can you see, it's like very less oil well that is highlighter but i don't really feel super oily this still feels really light i quite like it but it has creased a lot around the eye and it has creased around under eye as well so i don't really know what to comment about that <laughs> but uh here it is very much the same also here it is very much the same 
there's a lot of oil around this area this area which is fine but i feel like the concealer hasn't really creased more than what it had already creased oh no this side it has creased a little bit more and on the under eye it's similar creasing where i had put the uh, where i had put the corrector that portion hasn't moved at all so i quite like it um it has been quite a while so it's going to actually get dark now um so i'm going to try to record this i think in different lighting but this is what it looks like currently and my face looks pretty much the same as it did before a little bit of oiliness here a little bit of oiliness here as usual and the concealer and the corrector haven't really cracked i think this one for some reason is i don't know what it's doing but that's about it um the corrector as well as the concealer hasn't even moved a lot specifically here and here we use the corrector so yeah i quite like it it's stayed in place also one person complimented me that my face looks really nice so i guess if you guys use it it'll look nice on your face as well i would highly recommend this to all of you that only want to apply this around your face and not your eyes since it creases a lot also set it with a powder and i really like it i would definitely recommend it to all of you guys that's it